everyone, I'm Nick Draconator, and today I have a Beach Beasties Venus McFly Trap to unbox and review. And I've gotten really into Monster Highs lately, and I, I, I got all of these at uh, the local Five Below, and I, I was really, 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 really hoping I would find this one because I love her design. I, I think she's really cool. Like, she's got a, she's got these cool, like, pink and green colors, and then she's got this cool, like, undercut thing on her head that I think is just really neat, like, I think she's got a cool sense of style, and I was really hoping I would find some kind of Venus McFly trap toy, and I did, so, uh, cue me being really, really excited, but, um, we're gonna crack her open today and take a look at her, okay? <sighs> So, uh, on her box, she's got the, the whole Monster High logo over here, and then you can see, you know, some of her friends and stuff, and then the, the logo and her name and everything. It's all good stuff. She's got some really cool box art on the back. It's, it's got her in her, her bathing suit, because they're at the beach. And, uh, it says, Venus McFlytrap, daughter of the plant monster. Uh... Beach time with the beasties is always a splash. They've donned their sunglasses and sunscreen, and now they're perfectly suited for some scary, f cool fun in the sun. Almost whiffed that. Not quite. Um, then you can also see a picture of uh, Draculaura and Laguna, who I already got, excitingly enough. Um, I really love her design like Venus McFly Trap, but I gotta say... I, I think of all of the Monster High names, which are usually really creative, Venus McFlytrap is kind of one of the most generic monster names I've heard so far. Like, that's not even really a pun. It's just sort of Venus McFlytrap. You just sort of added a Mick in there. Her name is just Venus Flytrap. I mean, okay? I, you know, I mean, all right, I guess. That's, that's fine. Uh, anyway, we're going to open up Venus here and, uh... Uh, I like these ones with the big plastic windows on the front, like, because they just sort of peel right off. They just peel right off, and that's amazing. I'm super into this. Ta-da! So, they come off super easily, but I am gonna need scissors to take the rest of this off. So, uh, we're just gonna snip off all of these little ties here. That'll be her bag. Now we gotta get her feet. And her calves here. Got more ties. And then there's one in her hand. And then, um. Oh, jeez. I get so nervous around the hair. Uh. Yeah, she's got ties in the back of her head. Uh, the bottom one there, I can tell, is pretty easy to get to. I'm not worried about that one. Just sort of. But then the back of the head one, a little more difficult, but I think I got it. Oh my god, there's another one! I hate these. Alright. Uh, oh, she's got one around her waist. And then, uh, she's out. And all that's left is the twist ties, or the regular non-twisting ties, securing her blanket uh, to the, the paper, which are actually pretty numerous and substantial. Like, I don't know why they needed to tack this down so hard. It's a little piece of cloth. Okay, so let's start by taking a look at everything that she comes with, and then we'll take it off and we'll get a look at the doll. Okay, so first of all, I've got her uh, her bag here, and compared to some of the other bags, I think this one's my favorite. Like, it's got these cool teeth uh, molded onto it, and then, like, these are thorns, and then you can see the, the sort of, like, clasp there, and then it's clear pink plastic, and this bag looks amazing. Like, I like the other bags in this series. They all look really good, but this one is just next level. Like, it's super cool. Uh... This just looks banging. I'm super into it. Um, the only thing I guess I could say is that it's kind of like, it's got this stylistic thing where these are like the two canines and then these are the two lower 
canines. So it feels like it's a little off center, like it needs to move over a little bit. But I mean, other than that, it's still just super cool. These big sharp teeth. Uh, it's really cool to put your fingers on. It feels neato. Um, next of all, we've got her towel, and all of the the beach beasties come with their own towel. And of course, it's secured to itself, and I forgot about that. I don't know why these are tacked down so hard. I don't think it's necessary at all. <laughs> like, it's a little piece of fabric. But, um, what is the design here? Gotta get all these little pieces of plastic out. These tiny little ties. There's so many. So unnecessary. Um, so that's a pretty cool design, I think. It's very spiky and pointy, and it's got her big, uh, her, like, colors on it, and it, it matches her, uh, her swimsuit, like it's not exactly the same thing, but it matches, you know, it's got the same similar pattern and the same colors. Uh, it's really kind of a cool thing. It really matches her. It goes over her arm really well. I dropped it. I'm a fool. Um, and then also, let's see what else she comes with. First up, we got some sweet shoes. Uh, she's got some nice sandals going on. I love the sandals. Uh, Draculaura from this set came with like full beach high heels, which I thought was super weird. Who wears high heels to the beach? Like they were really cool, but who does that? These are like high heeled sandals, but like they've got that sandal grit at the bottom. This is something somebody might like fashionably wear to the beach, I think. It's got these cool thorns on it, and then I think a skull, like, right there in the middle. It's a little hard to tell. And then it's got some kind of sharp, thorny patterns on it. And it's, again, clear pink plastic, which matches. You gotta have a lot of pink in here to balance out how green her skin is. Um, but I think these shoes look awesome. Like, I love them. So, they're both pretty cool. Just really awesome sort of uh, sandals that go with her. And then she's also got these... Uh, these vines around her her legs here, uh, and they're made of soft vinyl too, uh, like her shoes, and they are super cool. I'm super into them. Like I think it it really gives her a nice aesthetic. It's a nice accessory to come with. Uh, I just think they look really cool, and they match her her little arm ones. Um, so I'm gonna slide those right on off. I hope these will slide off easily and not give me a hassle. Yes, yes. Uh, and then our arm ones, I might... Do I need to take her, her hands off, or... Nope. They just come off. I think these are really cool, too. Like, they're just cool swirly vines around her arms. Because, you know, she's a plant monster. She's a Venus flytrap. Uh, I bet this is secured with something. Yep, it's got a... It's got a rubber band around her head, holding it down. Ugh, these are so secure! Oh, well, that's disappointing immediately. Oh my god. Bah, I should have cut this. Fool that I am. Wanting to preserve this rubber band. It's not gonna let me, is it? There we go. Uh, got these cool glasses. They've got, like, sharp fangs on them. And then they're, they're pointy on the sides, and they're cool green plastic and triangular. Love these. They look really, like, dangerous and monstery. i I'm into them. I'm into them. I like them. And then, um, I'll get to that in a second. But then we've got our bathing suit, and it's pretty nice. It's got this, like, clear green plastic with little white and black, uh, kind of spiky things going on here. And it, it's got a big ol' seam at the back where it closes with, uh, Velcro. And, uh, like, I like the pattern. It's a nice, simple design. I don't like that uh, it doesn't fall flat in the back. Like, I want it to do this, you know, and, and fall flat, but it doesn't. It pokes up like this, and that looks not great, I think. I'm not I'm not a huge fan of it. That looks good. That doesn't look great. So, I mean, I think maybe there needed to be something back here, but, I mean, I guess there just wasn't going to be? I don't know. So that's unfortunate. Um, immediately, and my second sort of, like, haul is that, um, this is her, like, I think it's flocked here. I'm not sure. It's either some kind of fabric or flocking to make this sort of shaved look here, but she's had those glasses on so long that it's left, like, an indent in it, and it, I don't know if that's gonna come out very well, and that's super disappointing to me because it's super visible and she's got this nice kind of like solid fuzzy look here and then it's like blah over in the corner and I I'm really disappointed by that personally 
Uh, but let me get her bathing suit off and then we'll take a look at all of her, her body. Uh, yeah, okay. So it's the old Monster High body. It's it's very standard, you know. Uh, I think it's a little too skinny. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of it. Uh, and I don't like this sort of like falling forward neck thing. Um, that's just me aesthetically, but otherwise I really love these dolls. Uh, they've got very nicely detailed kind of fashion feet. I wish they had flat feet, like I really, 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 really want my, my dolls to wear flats. I don't like heels, but I mean, I know they're cheaper and easier and everything, so I'm just sort of stuck with them, I guess. Uh, I also noticed immediately mine has sort of this dirty kind of knee joint. It's got a lot of pink around it, and then some sort of fraying plastic bits. Uh, so that's not great, but it's got a good kind of rotation there. Uh, and then it bends pretty solidly back. Both of them do. She kneel. Yay! She can kneel pretty well. Okay. Uh, she can sit all the way forward. That's pretty cool. Good stuff, good stuff. She can bend her legs <laughs> all the way back. Uh, she's beautiful. Um, that's a good motion, good motion. Can she do a holy cannoli? Can she do a split? Probably not. Most can't. She can kind of get down there a little bit, but that's about as far as she can go. But she can do a full frontal split, as most monster highs can. Uh, it's still good to check these things, I think, you know? Um, next up, we've got her, her arms here, and she's got nice, solidly built arms that go all the way around, and then uh, can go up and down, and then elbows that go kind of... They've got a joint. That one's not the right direction, but... They go around, and then I think they can unpeg pretty easily, these arms, but, uh, I don't know myself, I haven't tried it, I don't really want to mess with it, um, but I think their arms might unpeg sometimes. Their hands unpeg pretty easily. These little hand peg. Uh, speaking of, let's get a look at these hands, because they are molded. Um, you know, these hands, I, I love it when they have, like, unique kind of molding. I don't really know what they were going for here, like... She's a plant monster. This looks like fur or maybe scales. Uh, I don't know if it's just supposed to be like moss or something, which doesn't make sense. Venus flytraps are not mossy. You wouldn't make that kind of assumption. So I have no idea what's going on there. I think it kind of is a detraction. I don't think it looks great. I would have liked to see, I don't know, spines or something on the backs of her legs or the sides of her arms or something, you know? Uh, something spiky, like the, the little spine things that on the front of a Venus flytrap's mouth. But we didn't get that. We got kind of weird fuzzy hands. Uh, they're also very, very soft, like vinyl, which is weird. My other ones are pretty hard, so it's kind of weird that these are... Like, her arms are not made of this material. Are they? No, they are. That's weird. Why are they? Her arms are really really squishy, and her hands are just super duper squishy. I have literally no idea. I don't think any of my other dolls do that. Um, what's going on with her head? She can tilt it pretty well. Monster eyes are, are usually pretty good about that. Not a lot of forward and back motion, unfortunately. What are you gonna do? But she can turn it all the way around. And then, uh, she's got a nice angular face going on here. Big ol' eyes and lots of dark green makeup. She has a really nice profile, I think. Um, it's very, it's very pronounced in a lot of the the right kind of ways. I think she's got nice lips. She's got a nice nose. She's got nice eyes. She looks pretty nice in general. Um, mine has this little line on her forehead that is a factory defect, I think, because it's sort of impressed into the the plastic. Uh, I don't know. It might be from her glasses. I'm not sure. I can't tell. But it is pressed into the vinyl, and I don't think that's going to come out. She's also got another one here on her cheek, which is also probably from the glasses. You really shouldn't have them in the box with those. Uh, she's also got these super cool ears, and because the side of her head is shaved, it's really easy to get a good look at them. They're nice and pointy, and they've got these cool leafy veins going on. Uh, 
just super cool there looks really good um, I think if they were gonna go for this undercut look they needed to kind of go back a little bit differently like this doesn't this seems like a very small amount of undercut here personally but I mean I think it's fine it's just sort of like I think I would have done more uh, again I think her eyebrows like this brown for her eyebrows like it's a dark kind of maroonish red brown uh, I feel like they should either be dark green or pink er a pinker shade of dark like a dark pink it's more of a dark red brown because I feel like a lot of monster highbrow high eyebrows monster highbrows don't don't look like their actual hair it's very weird like eyebrows and hair if you've got hair it, it's usually like one color on your body you know I mean like even when you have multiple hairs like this you're not gonna have eyebrows of a different shade it, it's sort of weird to me I don't I don't like looking at it um, I also really kind of wish her eyes had been pink uh, I don't the blue doesn't really seem to fit into her color scheme at all even with a little yellow whitish outline in the middle like it just sort of seems out of place and I feel like personally pink would have been much more striking here uh, she's got really nice lips with lots of little sharp teeth in it um, it doesn't match up with the molding like the little corner of the lipstick again which really really irks me but almost none of them do so I guess I'll just have to learn to live with it unfortunately oh rip me uh, I also noticed earlier as I was unpacking her she's got kind of a little scuff mark on her butt there a little dent which is again unfortunate you know sometimes you just you get a little dents and nicks and stuff but uh see if I can't get this thing off of her and I don't feel like I will okay uh, I actually did end up having to cut them to get them off unfortunately it's so frustrating to get rubber bands plastic ties whatever out of hair it's a nightmare uh, so that's her hair straight out of it I haven't brushed it or anything yet just took it out um, I, I like I she had it up in a ponytail which does make sense because she was swimming they were going to the beach and if I was going swimming I would absolutely want my hair up in a ponytail because it's a lot less nightmarish when you have this much hair uh, I have had this much hair in my life and it is like a nightmare to take care of um, especially when you're in the water but uh, I think she looks really really good with it down you know like uh, this sort of side undercut thing let me put it over her shoulder. I think I think that'll look really nice. Yeah. She looks really good. I think she'd look really good with a boil wash too. I need to get a hairbrush for her. Where are all my combs? Pull this out and brush your hair. Just finger brush it a little bit. It's a little sticky on the ends. Not sticky, it's just sort of like stuck together a bit. Also, I think maybe she should have had more pink at the front of her hair. Like, I get she's got all this pink over here, but I mean, she's got all this green over here. It's a lot. I just think there needs to be more pink on her. She's, she's all green, and I get that pink is a tertiary color, but it really should be more secondary. Like, it's her secondary color, but it should be more prominent I think two tones is a lot more striking than just the the one pale moss green kind of a thing uh, ah she got so much at the front of her head ah I got her elbow on backwards that's it that's a jam Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna have to boil wash her later. Uh, <laughs> oh, boy, this short piece here is gonna be real fun to work with, isn't it? Uh, her hair's got this kind of, like, layered effect going on, where the, the ones at the top are, are definitely sort of shorter, I think. Even if I hold them... No, if I hold it like this, I can tell... No, it still looks shorter to me. Like, a little bit. But because it's at the top of the head, it ends up giving it this super layered-y look. Where it's all choppy in the back, which is kind of a cool effect. And once she's all washed and everything, I'm sure it'll look even better. But, um, bit of a nightmare to manage. She's also got, like, one really long strand of hair down here that didn't get cut properly. Um, I'm actually just gonna go ahead and take care of that right now. I should just get you... Sneep. 
perfect. Uh, she hasn't had too much hair fallout, like, well, other than the chunk I just took. There's a couple of strands, but it's it's pretty negligible. Um, I, I opened up Chloe, uh, Chloe, Cleo Denial earlier and a bunch of hair fell out. Uh, just a little bit with her, but I did brush her pretty heavily. Okay, well, now I'm getting more. No, I think that might be it. I think she's good. Just a little bit, because I snipped it. Uh, but yeah, I think she looks really nice. I, I think this is a really nice set. Like, I think mine had a couple of factory defects with the scuffings and this little bit on her knee, but nothing particularly problematic. I think just a little bit like, oh, this was a little bit dirtier. Oh, I think this might have been cleaned better. Um... The only thing that really bothers me is that she really, 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 really shouldn't have been stored with her cool glasses on her face. Like, these are awesome glasses, but she shouldn't have been stored in the box with them because it did mess up her undercut and it has left little dents on her face that really just won't come out. Um, like, I'm going to probably do my best, but based on my experience, dents like that kind of get stuck in the vinyl and they don't, you don't get rid of them. And I do think that was a problem, and I don't think they should have done that. But otherwise, uh, Venus McFly Trap is just as kind of cool as I, I sort of thought she was going to be. Oh my gosh, there's so much pink in there. I love it. <laughs> pink is my favorite color, so I'm, I'm always excited to see pink uh, in stuff, especially when it's a, a fun tertiary or secondary color complementing another one. Like, it, it really makes the pink feel stronger. Um, you, can, you can totally have too much pink sometimes. Uh, with a cool design, but here, lots of pink, looks really great. Uh, love her. Love that Venus. So, um, if you enjoyed this video, you can, you know, leave it a like, or you can subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this one. I hope you have a really great day, and I'll see you next time.